Let's do a road trip. Who's in? No, 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 not, not, not you, Seamus. Ah, poo. Congratulations. You just bought yourself a cursed boat. Are you up for bids, too? You are just precious. This is a men's club. There's the problem. The ratio will be terrible. It's a total mast fest in here. Peter, how old is that girl? Uh, excuse me, won't you? <laughs> ah, lot of scumbags out today. I saw him once. Sure, I'm blind in one eye, and my other eye was infected that day from picking at it, and I was tired, and I'd been swimming in a pool with too much chlorine, and that was the hour my glasses were at lens crafters, but I seen that fish! Hello, lads. Oh, hello, Seamus. Right fine performance at the cricket match today. Aye, I was spirited to have you down there watching me. Well, it's a brilliant day for a long and confusing game of cricket. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Y yay! Ho! By the way, for those who came on my boat, I have those sandwiches. So were you, like, in an accident or what? No, me father was a tree. If it's fish you want, Pelican's Reef is where you'll find them. I've seen fish there. More fish than you could possibly imagine. Fish as far as the eye can see. Lots and lots of fish, I, I guess, I guess would be the main bullet point of this presentation. Jeez, where is this pelican's reef? Thar. But beware, no man has ever returned. Many have gone, all have been lost. Vanished, never to be seen again. No one has ever come back, I guess, I guess would be the, the, the central theme of what I'm trying to get across here. Seamus is still on hold with Spirit Airlines. We don't give a crap about you, but we're the cheapest, so sit there and take it. Ah, sea turds. Mr. Seamus, five minutes to showtime, Mr. Seamus. Oh, I want to fly standby to Pittsburgh, but I also want to host the Muppet Show. Hmm, maybe this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No! Ah, fudge. Wait, I know! I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. Who's up for water skiing? Hell yeah! All right! Yeah, let's do it! Oh, that sounds amazing! I love boats. Boats are my thing. Anything to get out on the open water. Enjoy the salt air. To... Oh, they're already gone. No, you didn't widen enough. But you still can't come. Yeah! Okay, Seamus, today's the day you finally ask out that barista. What's the worst that could happen? And their vessel was swept to the bottom of the briny deep, swallowed whole by the treacherous, unforgiving sea. They sank, I guess, would be the, the one thing to take away from this part of the seminar. When we come back, I'll show you how eye contact can make or break any business relationship. <laughs> If it's gale force peeing you be doing, it could mean you've got barnacles on your prostate. Best have sick bay check below your decks. Wait a minute. Are, are you telling me I need a prostate exam? Aye. And soon, before your rudder jams with flotsam and you're dropping anchor without an order from the captain. How are you liking all these nautical puns? Cute. Well, not bad. Somewhat entertaining. You already have a family. It's right there. Those won't keep you warm at night. Dr. Hartman is my only hope, and there's no way he's gonna see me. Well, you'd best come up with something, Peter. Otherwise, this will happen to your prostate. You just, uh, carry a picture of a diseased prostate around with you? Never know when it's gonna come up in conversation, and then who's the one who's prepared? I've also got a map of Middle Earth, a cat doing a pull-up, and the guys from Primus. These poster jokes doing anything for you? Eh, hit and miss. We should hang out more. Wow. Wow, are you glad you left the lighthouse now, Seamus? Oh, I think so, Seamus.
Excuse me, I noticed you were talking loud, so that means you're smart. Is this guy giving you a hard time, Brian? No, he's all right. All right, cool, cool. How you doing, buddy? I'd like to change my vote. Me too. Oh, I want to change mine back then. Me too. Great minds, eh? My lord, there is no sign of her, and we searched far. Did you search wide? No. You gotta search wide. That's like half of it. Hey, Chris Griffin. I just saw your video, and I'd love to go to your dance with you. Oh, my oh, God! God. To the dance we we it. Uh-oh. This means I have an awkward phone call to make. What? No, no, it was stupid. What, two guys going to homecoming? I, I assumed it was a goof this whole time. Take it out. I'm ugly and unlovable. Thanks to you, we got leapfrogged by Seamus' foursome. God, Seamus, I've, uh... Never seen you this naked. Ah, it's good to let the old midsection breathe. What, uh... How the hell are you alive? Who's he? James Woods. Oh, I thought he was a shark. No, he was on a show called Shark. But he's made of wood? No, his last name is Woods. But he's not made of wood. Nobody is. Stewie, hey, what's up? Oh, I was just on my way back from the cobbler. Figured before I stopped by the apothecary, I'd come here, and then it's off to the haberdasher. These turn-of-the-century business jokes doing anything for you? Not really. Did you use the jokes? Yeah, they're not landing. Ah! And what do the rest of you think? I... What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple Store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> well, this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week I got an old greeting card. It obviously wasn't for me, but imagination's a hell of a thing. Okay, you clean up the warden's office while I go pop out a pine cone. Hey, you know what'd be funny? You should take one of those records and play it over the PA system. Nah, you shouldn't do that, but it'd be funny. Okay, I'll be back in three and a half minutes. The average length of a song on any long-playing album. Ah, huh, what else be funny tonight? Uh, Star Jones got married. That was in the news. Uh, married a black fella, which is quite a surprise because I'd call her quite a catch. And black guys, by and large, uh, they're not so helpful on a fishing vessel. Now, Portuguese, absolutely, absolutely. I even had a couple of Japanese guys who worked out great. Thank you very much. You guys have been terrific. You know what seems like a lie to me? A forever stamp that says love on it. Oh, you want to go ahead of me? Hey, how are you? You know what seems like a lie to me? <laughs> if I could touch my own head, I'd salute you. With his head, I salute you. Hey, can one of you guys with elbows try to get this truck to honk? Ah, that and giving noogies is what I miss most about having elbows. So the guy asks, what's the name of the act? And they say, the aristocrats. Ah, I didn't tell it right. Hey, must be my lucky day. Perhaps I press my luck. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, big bucks, big bucks, and stop! This is the way we deliver the news on the high seas. Thirteen are dead in a subway in Paris and heavy rains flooded the east side of Pittsburgh and gas prices have hit a 14-year high and Brittany backed over her seven-month-old. He's the one who made me what I am today. <sighs> I wish you were a real live ornery sea captain. But he didn't wish hard enough. It only worked on me head. Oh my god, seriously? No, actually I was a normal guy until one night we dropped acid together and he thought I was a steak. Grilled me, ate me arms and legs, it was a whole thing. You ever had your heart broken, Jerome? Hell yeah, man. Married my high school sweetheart. Week after our wedding, she was diagnosed with cancer. At a funeral, our little girl caught pneumonia. We buried her next to her mom six weeks later. You never seen a casket so small. I hear you. I gave me number to a girl and she threw it away. You and me, fraternity of pain, eh? No, Frayne, you better get your ass out here before you make me cut this sentence short. Where is he? Where the hell is Dufresne? I don't know, sir. Hey, we have almost the same voice. Excuse me, I'm the prison doctor. I'm here for Andy's checkup. Andy Dufresne? Yep, Andy Dufresne. We can't find him. Well, that's no good. All right, you two are gonna have to leave. You should have seen your face. That's so uh, not funny. Now I gotta empty my pants. What's that? Uh, acorns. Acorns? Acorns, that's what I said. We sound too much alike. I know.
What is it, sir? That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. You shake me nerves and you rattle me brain. Too much love drives a man insane. You broke me will. Oh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Sucky and squeezy! I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus. Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. Allow me to introduce you to my son, Woody. Hey, Woody. Hey! He's gonna be a new character on the show. You're barely a character on the show. More than Woody! We don't have empty rooms right now, but if you'll have a seat... Yeah, uh, I kind of, uh, warmed myself up in the car if you catch my drift. I could put you in the storage freezer. That'll work. Nurse, I've got a splinter! You want to join me in a game of mumble peg? Oh, no thanks. Fine, I'll play by myself. One nothing! Wow, looks like that baby is all wet! Ha 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 Classic Woody! <laughs> This is Woody. Can you put on the Canucks game? No, go away. Loser! Peter, I'm interested in the redhead with the wooden arms and legs over there. You think you could introduce me? That's a table, Seamus. Don't point at her. Don't point. She's looking... Oh, great. Now I gotta go in. Hey, I'm Seamus. Wait. Seamus had arms and legs? Chris, I'm not sure you have the green light to just chime in whenever. Lois... Let's go take a midnight swim at Shark Bite Cove. Oh, sounds wonderful, Seamus, but I have other plans. Okay, well, I'm definitely going. Huh? I'm a San Francisco pirate. I hate my Ashberry in these jeans. A lot of the material is repeated. Arr, tis a mighty haul. Hey. Oh. Yeah, it's me as Neptune. Wow, we are zero for two on interventions today. I'm not changing for nobody! You're the, you're the ones with the problems! Welcome to Disabled Ladies Night. Mine are made from teak. What are yours made from? Yeah, mine are actually just press board with wood veneer. I can't get wet. Oh, I think I see my friends. I'm filling in for Peter. He's sick. All right, finally, a little harpoon in the bowling alley. I almost don't want to ask you out because I know you're going to say no. You want to go out? No? Okay. Quagmire? No. Quagmire! That's what I said. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't hear you because of the prosthetics. Hey, just checking to see if the old man is dead. Oh, hey, guys! Jeez, how many of us are doing this con? I've got no chance, have I? A tertiary character like me. You most certainly do not. I don't even think we're going to give you the dance you rehearsed.